comes in uh, two different flavors. There's the standard um, Slim Moto Z, and then there is the Moto Z Force. Um, Moto Z Force is a little bit thicker, um, but mostly they kind of look identical. Um, wouldn't be able to tell too much of a difference by looking straight at them here. There are some key differences under the hood though that you should be made aware of. So they both have um, a 5.5 inch AMOLED display, Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 820 processor, and they both have four gigs of RAM. But the difference is in the camera, the battery life, and the durability. The standard uh, Moto Z just has your kind of run-of-the-mill Gorilla Glass, has a 13 megapixel rear-facing camera, and a five megapixel front-facing camera. It gets about 30 hours of battery life. Now the Moto Z Force, on the other hand, this has a 21 megapixel rear-facing camera, same five megapixel front-facing camera, gets about 40 hours of battery life, and it's got uh, Moto's Shatter Shield technology. That means it's uh, shatter and uh, crack resistant if you were to uh, drop it on the ground. Although there's some difference in the megapixels between the standard Moto Z and the Moto Z Force, they both have optical image stabilization and laser autofocus. In terms of storage, both phones come in at 32 gigabyte and a 64 gigabyte model. Um, micro SD card support, so you can add up to two terabytes of extra storage there. So both devices have turbo power charging. Now that Moto technology means that on the standard Moto Z, you'll get about eight hours of use off of 15 minutes of charge. Now with the bigger battery on the Moto Z Force, you'll get about uh, 15 hours of use and just 15 minutes of charging. One really interesting thing to notice, and this you know, is causing a lot of contention in the tech industry, right, is the removal of the, uh, the standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now on the Moto Z, we have just one USB Type-C port down here. That's for charging and for headphones. So even though you can't plug in a standard 3.5 headphone jack right into the phone itself, this Moto Z will be coming with an adapter so that you can use your standard headphones with this new USB Type-C port down here. So specs are only one half of the story with the Moto Z. Um, the other half are what are called Moto Mods. Um, so this is a big trend with Android smartphones in 2016. You see it with something like the LG G5. Basically, uh, consumers can augment their Android smartphone with attachments, give them longer battery life, better camera, things like that. With the Moto Z in particular, you don't have to do anything crazy. You don't have to remove something from the bottom of the phone or kind of take anything out. Basically, the mods, they act just like uh, kind of phone cases. So if you turn the phone over, you take this, uh, this power pack here, which gives you up to 22 hours and extra battery life. You just slip it right on. You'll hear a little sound, you'll get a little animation to confirm that you've, uh, you've, you've put the mod on. And from there, it just you can use the phone just, as, uh, just like normal. Another one you have is the JBL uh, Sound Boost. Now this, uh, similar to the power pack, just kind of slips over the end. And this uh, gives the phone uh, better sounding music, basically louder, brighter sound, just like a kind of Bluetooth speaker would. Another really cool Moto Mod is this uh, Moto Made projector. This will give you a 70 inch projector using just your phone. So if you're watching YouTube videos, if you've got a movie, something like that, you can just take your phone, project it right against the wall here. This thing has one hour of internal battery, but once that dies out, you can then use the phone's battery. You should uh, be able to get up to about two and a half hours on the slim standard Moto Z and about four hours on the Moto Z uh, Force. So the standard slim Moto Z will be available worldwide unlocked starting in September. But if you're here in the US, you can get it as early as this summer from Verizon only as a uh, Droid Edition phone. The same goes for the Moto Z Force. Actually, the Moto Z Force you can't get anywhere uh, but the US as a Droid Edition Verizon exclusive. We don't have any pricing on either the Force or the standard Moto Z just 